Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we will discuss how to reset MFA, that is nothing but the multi-factor authentication in Azure. Okay, so basically what I will do, I will log into the Azure portal and I will show you the complete steps to do this. Okay, let me navigate to portal.azure.com and I will log in there and show you uh, the detailed steps. Uh, let me go there without making any delay. So what I'll do, okay, you can able to see I have already logged into my Azure portal. So what you can do, just you need to search for Microsoft Enter ID, which is nothing but the Azure Active Directory that uh, Microsoft has renamed it now, and click on the search results under the services Microsoft Enter ID, okay. And what you can do here, this manage tab is there, right? So expand this, click on the users. Now you will see the complete list of users you have, right? Now click on the specific user for the one you want to reset the MFA. Okay, uh, I will click here. And what you need to do, you need to expand again the manage tab. Okay, and you can able to see here, authentication methods, right? Click on that uh, for the specific user page, right? Now, what you can do, you need to do first, what you need to do, make sure to click on this revoke multi-factor authentication sessions. So the first step is to revoke the uh, all the authentication sessions you might have, right? So click on that. It, you can able to see it is uh, what it is telling successfully revoke the multi-factor authentication. Now what you can do, now you need to click on the require re-register multi-factor authentication, right? Click on that and for the confirmation, you just click on the OK. You can able to see, you need to read the instructions here carefully and then click on the OK button to confirm. Now if you click on OK, what it is telling operation is complete now, right? So now the uh, you are able to you know say reset the MFA. Okay. Now if I'll go and log in with this particular user, okay. What I'll do, I will just take this uh, user thing for name, and uh, what I'll do, I will just open an incognito window, and here I, I will try to log into the portal, portal.azure.com. I will put the ID here. Click on the next. Now it will ask me the password. I will, what I'll do, I'll go to the portal again. I'll click on reset password. And uh, uh, reset password, you can click the button. And you, can, and you can able to see this is the temporary password. You can just copy this password. And I'll go there. And I will use this temporary password to log in. And you can click on the. And now it will ask me to, you know, to reset the password. I will put the current password, temporary one. Uh, because if we are using a temporary password, it will ask to reset, right? So I will just put a new password. And I will click on sign in. See what it is telling now, your organization requires additional security, okay, uh, to configure the MFA, right? So click on the next button. And you can able to see here. So now, it will ask you to set the MFA, right? So now you have to you know, follow these steps to download the authenticator app and all and to configure. So the reason I showed you this one is because it, it is actually reset your MFA, right? Now you need to reconfigure it uh, following these steps. So this is how you can, uh, you know, reset your MFA for a particular user in Azure. Okay. So that's it for today. I thought to show you how to reset the MFA for a particular user in uh, using Azure portal. And these are the steps you need to follow to do that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you found the video a little helpful, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free Azure tips, uh, free helpful Azure PowerShell commands as well as Azure CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.